Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Dropbox for Gmail add-on for uh, Gmail. So that way you could manage and save attachments to your uh, Dropbox uh, account right from Gmail. Makes it easier when you're sending emails or also downloading attachments and that kind of thing. So once you go to the page here, which I'll put in the description, you just want to click on Install. And it tells you it needs your permission. Click on Continue. Then it's going to want what account you're going to install it with. I'm going to use a different account here. So make sure you pick the Google account that you're going to use with it. So it just tells you what permissions it's going to use. So we're going to click on Allow. Okay, then it just tells you where to find it. I'll click on Done. So we'll go to Gmail here. Let's refresh the page. Okay, so now we got the uh, Dropbox item on the bar here. So if you don't see it, you're probably, your panel is probably hidden like that. Okay, so let's say we want to do a new email here. And we want to do an attachment. If you don't see it down here, you just click on the three dots. I'm using a low resolution, so that's probably why it's not showing down here in the bar. Then you just click on Add Dropbox File to Email. And it'll open up your Dropbox account here. If you're not signed in, you're going to have to do this the first time. If you are signed in, then you won't see the screen here. Click on Allow. Okay, so now connected. So this is just a one-time thing to get your Dropbox uh, account connected to your Gmail account here. Okay, so this will show your uh, Dropbox files. There's not a lot in here. So let's say we want to go to the Sales, Files folder. If you click on Plus, it's going to add the whole folder. So you've got to open up the file or the folder. And let's go, uh, let's add this Contacts. Right there, and let's add something else. See, it'll do the whole file there, and I'll give you a link, so we'll show you how to do it for uh, both here. So we've got a file and a folder. Uh, let's send this to Todd. Okay, so that's been sent off to Todd, so now I'm going to go into Todd's email and see how it looks on his end. Okay, so here's the email we just sent to Todd from with the Dropbox files. Okay, so let's click on the Contacts document here. There you go, so it just open, opens it up in your browser, and then you have an option to download it. You might get prompted to sign in uh, to even look at it, but you should just cancel that, and then you'll be fine. And if we do the folder, there you go, now that's shared the whole folder. So it doesn't actually send the file and the folder as a, like a you know physical attachment. It just sends a link, and then that way they could open it in your Dropbox, and then, you know, open it or download it depending on you know what kind of permissions and so on okay so now we're going to save some files uh, from an email into Dropbox so I'll go back to this account here uh, let's go up to this let's see find some of the attachment here okay let's uh this file for example there's an attachment here so if you want to save this to your, you can, you can download it to your computer, save it to Drive, obviously, since it's Google. So what you do is you click on your Dropbox icon here, and here's the name of the file, you know, it just matches here. And you click on it, and then you can pick where you want to fold, save it. Let's go to Project Files. And then we saved it in Project Files. Okay, so now if we go to our Project Files folder in Dropbox, You can see there's a file that we saved. And the same thing works for, let's go back here. So here's some pictures that are in an email, in the body of an email. You could still do the same thing. Let's click on Dropbox. And see it here's just the generic name because they're not um, attached pictures like files. They're just you know copied and pasted into the email. So we could... Uh, Click on that one, let's say. Uh, let's save that in Project Files as well. Save. We could have renamed it too if we wanted to. So there's the uh, picture right there that we saved from the body of the email. So that's kind of cool how it doesn't have to be an actual attached file. It could just be an embedded uh, picture and you could still save it to your Dropbox. 
So, uh, once again, once you uh, install the uh, little add-on there, and then you'll have it off to the side here, and then you could uh, do, when you do a new email, you could attach files and folders from your Dropbox that they could view, or from actual emails itself. You could just click on Dropbox and save your attachment to there as well. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So once again, I'll put a link in the description. You could download the uh, add-on there. Just log into your uh, Dropbox account, and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.